Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel for a different kind of video today, but a video I'm very excited to share with you. Today I am going to walk you through how I make four different high protein breakfasts. As you guys know, protein is a huge, huge part of my nutrition and my caloric intake and my goals for the day. I love making sure I get enough protein. I feel amazing when I eat protein and plenty of it, and it all starts for me with a good protein filled breakfast. So today I am sharing with you four different breakfasts that I have on a regular rotating basis that just fill me up with protein for my first meal of the day and set me up for success the rest of the day. What's nice about this video is you're going to find very different kinds of breakfasts. I have one egg based breakfast, I have a smoothie based breakfast, I have an oatmeal based breakfast, and I have a yogurt based breakfast. So I'm hoping that I covered all of the bases for you guys in terms of of breakfast types of foods and all of these things are things that I do eat on a regular basis. You will see a recipe you've probably seen uh, several times before on my channel in some way, shape, or form. None of this is really going to be shocking to you except the last one. The last recipe I'm sharing with you is new and special to me and I have been loving it. Oh my gosh. This recipe or this technique rather like it, the recipe is nothing outstanding and nothing like new and crazy innovative, but the way that this recipe is prepped makes it very, very easy in terms of picking it up and eating it. And I saw this from the Instagram account, The Sam Plan, I think is her name. She is a large fitness influencer who I really, really enjoy because she's not like a teeny tiny fitness influencer. She weighs about as much as I do and makes me feel really good when I see posts from her. Like she eats her food. She's a weightlifting badass woman and she's just really, really cool. And I've, I'm a big fan of her. And in her Instagram stories on repeat, I see her make this breakfast or something that looks like this breakfast and it got me excited to try it myself. And the first time I did, you guys, it was so good, so good. So as I explained in the clip when I filmed it, you can do a lot of things with this technique, but it's the actual tortilla and egg technique that I took from this girl. I'll have her Instagram account linked down below so you can go ahead and check her out because she inspires the heck out of me. So maybe she'll inspire you as well. Anyway, without further ado, these clips are clips that I have taken throughout the last week or so when I actually made these individual breakfasts for breakfast that day. So it all takes place over a period of time, but like I said, you're going to see an oatmeal based, a smoothie based, a yogurt based, and an egg based high protein breakfast. I hope you enjoy. All right, my friends, this breakfast of high protein breakfasts is a yogurt bowl. And I love yogurt bowls, especially in the summertime. So I have already set aside my mixed berries. This just happens to be three and a half ounces of strawberries, one ounce of, uh, one ounce of raspberries, and two ounces of blueberries. So I have that set aside. But the magic happens in the product that you choose. The yogurt that I love is the Oikos Triple Zero. It has no artificial sweeteners in it. It has a lot of protein. There's fiber in here not sponsored at all. I just love this product. And so today I have the triple berry. It is 120 calories for a cup and it has, like I said, 15 grams of protein already in there. And if my memory serves me correctly, I think it has six grams of fiber. But here's where the magic is gonna happen. This is my little container of Vital Protein's collagen peptides. One scoop of this is nine additional grams of protein. One could argue whether or not this counts as protein because it is an incomplete protein, but you know what? Nine grams of protein from collagen is not going to be a bad thing. So the collagen protein actually blends into the yogurt seamlessly. So if you really wanted to, you could throw another scoop in there for another nine grams of protein, but I find that this is this is plenty. This makes the total for protein 24 grams by only adding one little thing. But wait, there's more. So we have this, we're gonna empty the bowl, doo -doo -doo, or empty the cup into the bowl. So we have that, and then I'm going to take it one step further with 
this granola, which is my favorite granola right now. It is grain free, so it is much higher in fat, but lower in carbs than regular granola. And this also happens to pack an additional five grams of protein for a one third of a cup serving. And it also adds extra fiber and it adds some fat in there, which is great. So this is my primary fat source for my breakfast, but it keeps everything nice and balanced. And I really, really love that. So the serving size I'm going for is 30 grams. There we go. And that's exactly 30 grams, adds extra protein and my fat. And this is my yogurt bowl for 29 grams of protein. All right, so the next high protein breakfast item is something that if you've been a member of my channel for any length of time, you have seen before. This is the Fab Four Smoothie. The Fab Four Smoothie is something that is coined by nutritionist Kelly Levesque in her book, Body Love, which I will have linked below. And it is something that I love very much. Why? Because it works. So I'm going to show you exactly what you do to make a Fab Four Smoothie. Now, the concept of these smoothies can change dramatically based on what ingredients you have, what you wanna put in, flavor profiles, et cetera, et cetera. What you need to know is that the concept of Fab Four smoothie has four different ingredients that are key elements to the Fab Four. Fat, fiber, proteins, and greens. So as you can see, I have my greens down here in the form of kale. I also have some cauliflower rice here, and then some blueberries. And in total, this is two ounces of kale, one ounce, one and a half ounces of cauliflower, and then 70 grams of blueberries, making the total number of calories roughly 100 calories in terms of produce. So that is the base. That is where I am starting. And in case you're curious, you can kind of see here, here is my what's left of my kale. This is Good & Gather Target brand kale. This is frozen blueberries, again from Good & Gather, and then my cauliflower rice is Members Mark from Sam's Club. The next thing I do is I put a little bit of almond milk at the bottom just to kind of help get things started and give the powders a base to sit. This is unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And by the time I end up done, I use about 45 calories worth of this. Okay. Then you have to add the other fab four ingredients. So we have greens, which means we need protein, fiber, and fat. And I have all of these things here. First, let's go with the given, and we're going to do protein powder. Today, I am using, for no specific reason, it's just what I have on hand currently, Inosup's protein. This is 140 calories and 25 grams of protein in the cinnamon cereal flavored. So... I have found that with blueberries, the cinnamon flavor works really, really well, but you can use any protein powder that you choose. And if you didn't want to use almond milk and a protein powder, you can also pour like a Premier Protein Shake or a Quest Shake in here and use that as the protein and the liquid to blend up with the rest of your smoothie. So that's 25 grams of protein. What I use for fiber is acacia fiber. I love using acacia fiber so very much. This can be found on Amazon, but you can have other options like flaxseed or chia seed. That's what these are. So as long as you have a high fiber element in there, it is considered a fab four smoothie. One tablespoon ends up being six grams of fiber. Going to add a splash more milk to get the powders started here. See, there we go. Get a little bit more room happening because we still have more things to add. Now, I already have 25 grams of protein in there, but I'm adding one scoop of collagen peptides, which adds an extra 35 calories and nine grams of protein. I add collagen peptides to everything because it's easy. And then I'm going to be using almond butter as my fat. So I'm going to weigh this out because I found that pouring it and weighing it's a lot easier than scooping. This is 190 calories. Come on. There we go. Oh, so close. The 32 gram serving of almond butter ends up adding 190 calories, but it adds a lot of fat, which is the goal. So we have 17 grams of fat, 
but alas, it also adds four grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. So overall, this is my favorite fat to add to a Fab Four smoothie. You can also add stuff like avocado instead of nut butters, or you can use a nut butter of your choice. It is up to you. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit more milk, and then we're gonna blend it all up. And there you go. This beautiful blue smoothie packs in 41 grams of protein. All you gotta do is stick a straw in it and you're good to go. Okay, so the next breakfast that I'm gonna show you is very, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? You can modify this. There's a lot of variables in it, but the concept is protein oatmeal. For today, I happen to have this just sitting around. I don't even remember where I got it. I think it came in like a meal planning box or something as an extra. So I've had this sitting around and I haven't used it. So I'm going to use it today. And this is just pre-done oatmeal. I am, well, it's not pre-done. I have to put the boiling water in, which is going to start making noise very soon. But here are the stats. It's higher fat. It's got six grams of fiber in it, which is awesome. I'm always looking for fiber in my food, which is amazing. But the whole concept of this is I'm going to be using the PE Science Protein for Oats to add an extra 15 grams of protein to my oatmeal. And you can modify this in any way you want to. You can use the the Quaker lower sugar oatmeal or weight loss oatmeal or make your own oatmeal from scratch, whatever the heck you want. But the point is a base of oatmeal and then protein for oats. Or if you really wanted to, you could even mix in just some protein powder. Um, but basically protein plus oatmeal equals protein oatmeal. All right, guys, here it is, the end result. Yeah, you do see chocolate chips on there. So what this is happens to be this particular brand of oatmeal combined with protein for oats from PE Science, which has 15 grams of protein in it. I also decided to put in one scoop of the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides for another nine grams of protein. So the total ends up being with, with, by the way, one serving of mini morsels on top, 415 calories, 31 grams of protein. And now this is all melty, and I'm gonna mix in that chocolate to give it a nice chocolate oats. And I'm gonna eat this, and I am ready to go work out. Okay, so I have sprayed my pan with nonstick spray, and I have put nine tablespoons of liquid egg whites, that is 75 calories, three servings, and ends up being 15 grams of protein. And now I've turned this on. As you can see, it's already starting to cook, and we're just going to let that get mostly cooked before our next step. All right, now that we're getting somewhere, here is the trick. I'm taking my tortilla, and I am setting it in the still wet but partially cooked egg whites and I'm pressing it in there because what I want to have happen is I want the egg whites to cook onto the tortilla. So now we wait a little while longer and we let those things merge and the egg whites get to continue to cook. And in the meantime, I am going to take this olive oil spray that I used on the pan and just give the tortilla a quick spritz because eventually I'm going to flip it over and I want the tortilla to crisp. The tortillas that I'm using are the Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. I'm obsessed with these 70 calories, 15 grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. There we go. Once we have it flipped over, the tortilla side gets to brown. And remember, this is all egg white now, so what we're going to do is we're gonna pretend it's gonna be a taco, and we're gonna put all of our toppings on one side of this round. Today's flavor is going to be tomato and goat cheese, which has been my favorite thing. So I'm starting off with half of a serving of pizza sauce, of all things. I used Good & Gather organic pizza sauce. Today, I'm actually adding a little bit extra protein for the sake of this video. I've never tried it with pulled chicken, but pulled chicken is what I meal prepped this week. And since this is going to be my brunch, I'm putting the extra chicken on here. This is two ounces of chicken. I have a couple of grape tomatoes that I've sliced up. 
And then the best part is one ounce of full fat goat cheese. You wanna make sure that's evenly distributed so you get melty delicious goat cheese all over. Great. Once you have your toppings, you close it up and look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. So then I let it sit for a couple minutes on either side just to let all of the new ingredients I just put on get all heated up and it gives the cheese a chance to melt. The final flip. Then what I like to do is cut it up into easily manageable pieces. This whole thing ends up being about 370 calories and has over 40 grams of protein in it. How stinking good is that? And the best thing about this, you guys, is you can put whatever you want on it. So if you wanted to do regular eggs instead of egg whites, if you wanted to do bacon and cheddar cheese instead of tomatoes and goat cheese, you can do whatever you want with this concept. This just happens to be what I have at home and what I've been using and loving. All right, so there you go, four high protein breakfasts that I love and eat on repeat. Let me know in the comments below which recipe you are most excited to try and how you're gonna put your own individual spin on it. The coolest thing about all of these recipes is you can modify them in any way you want. Just make sure you add or subtract calories or points accordingly. So for example, if you wanna throw some almond butter either in your oatmeal or on top of your yogurt bowl, feel free to do that. If you want to use a different protein powder, if you want different ingredients in your Fab Four smoothie, if you wanted, like I said in the egg video, if you want to use a real egg instead of egg whites, or if you want to do cheddar and bacon in your burrito instead of goat cheese and pizza sauce. All of these things are things you can do and it makes it your own and you can create a high protein breakfast that you love to eat on repeat as well. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you liked this video and you wanna see more recipe type videos from me, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click that little red button down there to become a part of the Diva and the Divine community. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Happy breakfast time, and I'll see you later. Thank you.